A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see that this thing has taken place, which the Lord made known to us. So they went with haste, and they found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all those words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told to them. After eight days passed, it was time to circumcise the child, and he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Word of the Lord. This January 1st, uh, first Happy New Year to you all, um, but uh, aside from it secularly being a new year, uh, because in the church we celebrate our new year in Advent, uh, instead on January 1st, what we celebrate is the Feast of Holy Name. This marks the day eight days after December 25th, eight days after Jesus was born, where he was circumcised and named Jesus, or called Jesus. Um, it's interesting. Jesus, of course, it comes from the, uh, from the Hebrew of Yeshua, meaning God will save. And of course, that is, that is what Jesus comes and does for us. And at his naming, it says it right there. That's why in uh, Paul's letter to the Philippians, he says, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bend at his name. Because That's what he means to us, the one who comes into our world as God to save us. It's interesting, though, in case you might be wondering, wasn't there also another name Jesus was supposed to be given? And that's and that's interesting because in Matthew, when the angel appears to Joseph in a dream in Matthew 23, uh, you hear the angel tell Joseph he shall be named Emmanuel. Emmanuel meaning God with us. And so on this day when we're celebrating the name of Jesus, why not engage in a little thought about why is he named Jesus? Why was he called to be named Emmanuel? And and what that means for us. Uh, I don't think it was just that Joseph ignored what the angel told him in, in, in Luke's version, it said he, they, were, he would, they were told to name him Jesus, meaning God with us. The Emmanuel we get from the Isaiah chapter 7, that idea of uh, God with us. God will come and dwell among us. And Matthew is very much trying to tie the coming of the Messiah to Jesus, Emmanuel. And before we get too caught up in the idea of what he's named, I would think of it very, very much in the sense of what it is to be named something is kind of like what it's like to be called something. When Leo Sowerby is named the Dean of American Church Music or Taylor Swift is named Time Person of the Year, there's naming and then there's naming, if that makes sense. So Jesus is named Emmanuel. He is named God with us. He promises that by him standing there with his disciples is an outward and visible sign that God will always be with you. God will never leave you. He is named God with us. And he is also named God will save us. Yeshua, Jesus. So in that way, I want to invite you to think about what do you name Jesus? What do you call Jesus in your life? What is God in Jesus to you? Is he the one who teaches you? Then you name him my teacher. Is he the one who, is he the one who saves you? Is he the one who feeds you and nurtures you? It's okay to call Jesus my father, my nurturer, my caregiver. It's okay to name Jesus my guide, my light. Um, 
I want you to think on this feast of holy name about, yes, he is God with us. He is God will save us. And also, what do you name Jesus in your life? What is he to you? Amen.